Hi, I am Eric. I'm from a northern small town uh, called Luleå in Sweden. And uh, you're watching <laughs> Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Well, today was an interesting start to the day. We had a fire on our property. Lightning struck a tree and blew it up and lit it on fire. And uh, the whole room, the whole house just turned a bright purple. The, the lightning was so close and the thunder just shook the ground and shook the the uh, the house. And I was like, oh, I hope, I hope that didn't hit anything. And you know, about half an hour later, all of a sudden I saw smoke drifting down our property, right? So I had to, uh, well, I ran out to my pickup, <laughs> jumped in the pickup, ran out to the back of the property, drove around to the back of the property. I jumped out, ran through the bush to see what was smoking and it turned out, yeah, I found the tree that was just exploded and flames were like 50 feet high. Like it was way up there. So I called the fire department, I called 911, uh, got a hold of them, got a hold of the RCMP and they sent uh, the fire chief out to take a look at it and the RCMP came by to take a look and make sure everything was good. They had to take our statements and stuff and it's an emergency call. And uh, uh, the fire chief went and looked at it. By the time the fire chief got here, like it's a very cold, rainy day. It's snowing, sleeting, raining, and everything's very wet. We're just getting our first snowfall of the year. So the fire chief wasn't too worried about it spreading. By the time he got here, the flames had already gone way down and it was practically almost just smoldering. And he said that it's not really a big risk, but I should keep an eye on it. So uh, I've got a bucket and I'm walking all the way around because we have no bridge over our creek yet. And it's on the other side of the creek. So it, it would be very hard for them to access it. They'd have to go back there with ATVs and stuff. So I'm gonna go back there with my bucket and I'm gonna grab water from our creek and I'm gonna put it out myself. Even though it's just, uh, it's just smoldering, it's not worth it for the fire department to use all of their resources for something that's not gonna go anywhere. You know I mean, they got lots of other things going on. I mean, it's their first snowfall of the year. There's gotta be lots of people in the ditch and lots of accidents going on. So I don't feel bad about them or mad or upset that they didn't wanna put it all out. I can easily go back there with a bucket. But it's just when I did call them, it was scary because at that time it was just huge flames, right? I thought it was gonna spread to our whole property and burn everything down. If it had been a dry season, if it had been a regular August, like we usually have with, with no rain and oh, it would have spread or half our property would have been burnt down by the time they got here. So thank God that it was a wet year and that the snow came down today. And yeah freaky but I've got to go all the way around now to where I can get across the creek and then hike all the way back to where the lightning hit the tree on our property on the other side of the creek it was a bit of a long hike so I'm all sort of dressed up it's not that cold it's just a little wet and miserable outside we're gonna go and uh, throw some water on it all right so the tree that got hit I believe is down there got my bucket now this side of the property has not been developed at all. So all we got are these little deer trails going through here. Coyote trails, whatever they are. And I've got to find a way through this thick brush to get down to where that tree is smoldering. Aha, here we go. Here's a deer trail going down here. Oh boy, no, that's more of a rabbit trail. How am I going to get through this? I'm just going to have to push myself down. I have to push my way down. All right. We're making a new trail today. Gotta get down there. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Okay. 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 Uh -huh. Yep. Yep, we're going down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. All right. Continue going through here. Oh boy. Oh, gotta push him out of the way. Push it out of the way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh got me in the eye. Okay. Come on. All right. Oh, here we go. Okay. We're... Whew. It's no joke. I gotta build a trail. I'm good. 
shoot. Okay, we gotta say higher ground. Where is it? Oh boy, lots of water over here. There it is. Just gonna grab water from here. See, it's still smoldering pretty good here. Lightning just blew it to smithereens. Oh, here's a little beaver trail here. Let's not fall in here. Hoop. Whoa. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, wow. That is crazy what lightning can do. Look at this. It's all over here. Oh, it hit two of them. Because this one's blown up too. Oh, wow. So yeah, like you can see, it's no real threat. But I don't want to leave it like this. I don't like leaving this out here. If this, the rest of this catches, that's a bad thing. Got Brit and Chevy up there somewhere on the other side of the creek. They were there. Watching me. See, yesterday when I took you on that trail, that trail goes right along the side of the creek on that side. Now we're on this side. Imagine how hard it would be for them to reach this. Like there's no way to get to it without getting over the creek. I had to go way around. Chevy led Brit down the trail there. I'm trying to keep you guys out of the wind. It's pretty windy. See Brit over there? Chevy's there. Brit hadn't been down the trail yet, but Chevy showed her where it was. There he is. Hey Chevy. <laughs> good boy, Chevy. You don't jump in the water. You stay there. I don't need your help. I'm good. It's on fire now. Got a little bit of a breeze through here. Lit it right up. Okay, we gotta hurry. I gotta figure out where I can get down close enough to the creek to fill this up. Well, we've got two buckets on there already. I'm gonna keep going for a while. But look at this, how it blew this tree apart. There's pieces from it over here. There's pieces over here as well somewhere. I thought I saw some. Yeah, way over here. That got blown off. This tree literally blew up. It's all the way over there. It's crazy. So I've got to grab the water from by that little tree there. It's on the right shore. It's the only place I can get close enough to the water. Uh, fun times. Country life, right? Country life. I gotta go down here. Don't want to fall in the water. That wouldn't help anything. I'm gonna hold on to my other glove here. I just... Oop. This is harder to do with one hand, but we're gonna try it. Okay. Didn't get much in there. Whatever. This is for your benefit. I want to show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so we got the bucket. Walk back over there to the tree. Ugh. So how many of you can say you put out a fire in your back bush today? <laughs> and what's with all this snow? It's too early for this. And you know, most of Manitoba is covered in like a foot of snow right now. We didn't actually get that much. Okay. Guess I'll just put you down on there. Do a couple more times yet until this stops smoldering. Britt and I have our date tonight in, in Winnipeg at Cirque du Soleil, and I don't want to have this smoldering back here when we head into head into the city. Man, I don't even know where the tree went. The biggest piece is right there. There's pieces all over here. All around here, it just blew up. See, there's a piece right there. Pieces back there, pieces back there. This tree was already fallen by the looks of it. That that wasn't the one that fell today. Wow. Wow. So I put about six buckets on it right now. I'm gonna put another two or three on there. Uh, it's pretty much all taken care of. It's just, I don't like it that it's still smoking because it's that means that there's still uh, heat in there and that heat can dry out the wood that I just soaked in water. And then if a wind comes through here, and if it smolders up, it can relight. So we'll just babysit it here for a little while yet. Yikes.
Yikes. Yikes. I wish I would have had that on the vlog, how loud that lightning was. It, I thought that it was a little further out that way. But uh, it was just the whole house filled with light. Like, the whole house was purple light. Bright. And instantly, the second the house filled with light, the big crashing boom. It wasn't even a boom. It was just a crack. And just everything was just, whoa, like an earthquake. I thought that it might have hit the tower in town, but apparently no, it was like, it was right here, right on our, right on our land. I mean, this is quite a ways from the house still if you're walking, but still it's our property. And can you imagine if this was the dry season? All of this grass here, if this was dry, can you imagine by the time we realized there was a fire out here, this would have all been burnt down. All of it, and it would have spread to those trees back there and to our whole property. We're lucky that it's on this side of the creek. I mean, the creek would have acted as a natural barrier for the fire so that it wouldn't get to where our home is on the other side, but still. Thank God for this wet weather. Britt was saying before to the RCMP officer who was talking to us, <laughs> look, we're probably the only people in Manitoba that are thankful for this weather right now. <laughs> but man, that could have been bad. Could have been bad, our whole property. Some, that's, I don't want to say it's a fear you have to live with, but it's a reality you have to live with when you live out in the bush like this. Like. You gotta be vigilant. You gotta keep your eyes open for little fires like this. I'm glad I caught it when, when I did. And, you know, the weather was helping us out. Cause how would the fire department get here? Like the closest they got was to that bank right over there. I guess they could run their hose. They have to run a bunch of extension hoses and run down the creek. It's, it's quite a trek to go all the way around to this side right now without a bridge. Cause there are bridges like on either side, way further down, just we have to, cross over there and then walk back here. You see that? It's starting to smoke more again. It's starting to crackle again. That means this is drying out. I want to make sure that all this here is not going to reignite. That there's no embers in there anywhere. <sighs> Crazy. Have I said that yet? Crazy. What did you do today? Well, I'm comfortable with the job I did, putting it out and soaking it really good, like more than enough. Now, I gotta get back home. I've never actually gone through this part of the forest before. I've gone nearby, but this isn't my first time through this little section here anyway. This is what I'm talking about. We're gonna have all kinds of nature trails leading through here. Just like on the other side. Isn't that going to be beautiful? I don't want to develop it too much. I want it to stay natural. I just want nice little developed trails leading through it. Oh, there's a little stream here. Okay, we don't want to step in that. On a beaver highway, maybe. Let's jump over it. How far out does it go? It might be underneath that snow yet. Let's go over here. I don't want to get a booter. Okay, here we go. There we go. Which way are we going again? Okay, I can see the hill back there. We gotta go up the hill. How do we get there? Man, it would have been impossible for a fire crew to get out here. Oh boy, that would have been a huge deal. I'm so glad that it wasn't any worse. Okay, okay, now we gotta push our way up through this. Let's do this. Oh, this is what I live for. This is awesome. I remember as a kid, I grew up on a property somewhat like this. One, one of the big reasons I wanted this property was because it reminded me of my childhood home. We used to have bush, live in the bush like this, and I would just go pushing through the bush like this all the time, make my own trails. Go see what's out here, you know? We're still trekking through here. We got something out here. I guess previous owners before us had kids and they built some kind of little fort over here. One one of these years I've got to come back here and clean this up because they left a mess. They got this here. I guess they played paintballs or something. They got this here. And they got a fort all the way down here. But they left it just a mess. Just all this wood all over the place. And I don't want to go too close in here too because a lot of these boards have nails sticking up out of them. But... 
Look at this massive tree that fell over though, eh? I guess it used to be a tree house or something. Look at this thing. Just a beast. Oh, I love it out here. I love it. Then it opens up into some grasslands out here yet. On the other side of this bush, like here it opens up a little bit. It opens up again on the other side of these trees, a ways down there. And we have, I think, a, a 400 by 800 foot lot out there. That's nice. It would be nice for development one day, right? I'm seeing quad tracks through here. They must be pretty old though, because they go like right through this tree. So I'm guessing they must be a few years old, but they better be. Otherwise someone's been trespassing. I haven't had my quad back here yet. Actually, wait, we did come back through here last winter, right? Went for a rip around here. Might've been me. Might've been me. I don't even want to go back. I just want to stay out here. Everybody looks comfy. Safe and sound from the fires. Wasn't actually that big of a fire. It could have been a lot worse. Could have been and it sort of panicked me a lot because uh, I wasn't sure how wet it was back there but it turned out uh, that it was able to be put out really quickly. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Tomorrow, Tomorrow we're going into Winnipeg. We have Cirque du Soleil. So hope you guys tune in for that. It should be a lot of fun. I hear we're supposed to get a lot of snow, so I guess we'll see what happens. Good thing we got the winter tires on the terrain. Let's hope it doesn't snow again and doesn't get canceled. Hi, I am Eric. I'm from a northern small town uh, called Luleå in Sweden. And uh, you're watching <laughs> Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. <laughs>